Hey Glam Fam, welcome to today's video. We're gonna test out the brand new Hourglass Holiday 2021 palette. This is the Universe Unlocked palette. We're also gonna play with their scattered light shadows and create this beautiful eyeshadow look. We're just gonna have fun and play with new makeup. I'm Christy, by the way, if you're new to my channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you can join our beautiful Glam Fam. We're here every Sunday at 8 a.m. Pacific time, and I would really love to just welcome all of the new subscribers and say hello to all my lovely subscribers that come back every week. I really appreciate all the love and support, you guys, and please give this video a huge thumbs up if you haven't already. When you click that like button, it really does help support my channel, as well as when you use all my affiliate links below. Everything I'm wearing on my face, on my body, will be below so be sure to check that out and follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram on my blog christyallure.com and on TikTok Christy Allure and without further ado let's get started you guys let's get started so I already did my base because we are trying out this new hourglass ambient lighting palette so excited so I'll get into that in just a second but I just kind of want to explain really fast what I have on my face because I am using hourglass products so I have the hourglass vanish stick foundation you guys know if you've been watching my channel for quite some time this is one of my top top foundations and currently right now between this combination of NARS radiant foundation and Punjab and warm ivory this is my number one foundation pick currently. I just go to it every single time I need to go somewhere nice. It is just the most beautiful combination for that full coverage, natural glam look on my very dry, normal skin right now. It is perfect. I love it, especially since my face has been so hormonally breaking out here and there. It's just the best combination for me. And what I love for my primer as I knock everything over, I always do that, you guys. I'm just a clumsy person. This Tula Brightening Up Primer. So this is the only primer I can really use right now that is really priming and prepping my skin for my makeup to go on ultra smooth with ultra dry skin right now. I mask, I do everything prior, really get my skin. I use tons of skincare, but this is the only primer right now that is really, really working for my very, very dry skin. They put out really good products and this is really, really, really nice. And I also have the airbrush, or I'm sorry, yeah, I think it's the Vanish Concealer. I rated this a couple years ago when it first came out. I still love this concealer. I know I don't talk about it a lot because there's been so many concealers I have been rating and liking a lot, but I really do think it is a beautiful concealer for that full coverage hydrating concealer. It reminds me a lot of the Dior one. You know, Cynthia's in Europe. Yes, we have the Glam Fam members in Europe. She was going to order this. So I cannot wait to see how you like this concealer. Comment below, Cynthia's, if you've already received it. She had a really good idea. She really couldn't. I helped her out with trying to find a shade for her skin tone or undertones. And I don't mind doing that. So please comment below and I will help you guys out in any way I can. I love, love, love talking back and forth with you guys. But she decided to go with two of the travel size because they do come in travel size at both Old to Sephora and the Hourglass website as well as Beautylish too, you guys. And I know not all, you know, things are always available in the different parts of the UK and Canada and other parts outside of the US. So I'll be more conscious to include those links as well. 
finished. But yes, I cannot wait to see. So she got two shades in the minis and you don't use a lot of concealer. So I think that's actually a brilliant idea when you can't find your shades. I have Fawn on, but I actually love Oat even more. I just ran out of that one. So I think next time I will get Oat and Fawn in the travel size. I think that's a great idea, especially when the Sephora VIB sale comes up. So I really do love that concealer and I like to switch things up. I don't always like to, even though Anastasia Beverly Hills, I just talked about that in my September favorites is still one of my top concealers. I still like to switch it up. I still like to go back to the one size. I still like to do the ordinary sometimes and my Dior. I love my Dior. There's so many concealers. I love you guys. So anyway, I have that on my base and I have been really loving to apply my makeup lately. I haven't even used my dose of color sponge in so long. I wet it and I never use it. I, the Stands Out Beauty Sponge is, oh, you guys, I can do foundation powders, I don't have to wet it, and I just love, love, love the way it, it just applied my makeup so flawlessly today. I didn't even use a brush. And this little beauty right here, this is brand new from Morphe. This is their microfiber kind of memory foam type, not as soft as a Stands Out Beauty Sponge, but a little bit cheaper. This is 20 bucks. I think this is around 10. I'll put the price point right there as always and in the description box below. So again, when you guys utilize my links, it really does help support my channel and allows me to buy more makeup to review and let you guys know what is worth not buying. So we talked about that in my fails last week. So very excited, you guys. I love love this sponge. I bought it when I was buying the Jaclyn Hill palette that I will be um, doing a review and look on the new Morphe Jaclyn Hill Neutrals palette. And so I bought this and some other stuff that I talked about in my favorites, but you can check out that video right there because I just did my September faves and fails. But I did want to start off with the Hourglass because I know the VIB sale comes up and this is, you know, kind of legendary, right, to buy. I just started last year. I didn't buy them before because they were so expensive, but I saved up my points and I used them for this. So hopefully I love it. I love the packaging. It is beautiful. We are just gonna try to play with all of these colors today. These powders, these ambient lighting powders are so good for dry skin. What I like about this particular palette compared to the lighter one is that this is more of, it doesn't have so much radiance in it. And since I have so much texture on my skin, because I really could have gone with the lighter palette as well, especially for the upcoming winter months when I get really light but I like this type of powder better. I know it's their new technology and we'll go over that in just a second, but this is one of their standard powders and I just think it is a beautiful powder. I like dim light and I like, I'll put the two I like right there. I just love those two, especially for under the eye with that more yellow tone one. I've never tried this one, I don't even own this one, so I'm very happy I got that amount in there for that and then we'll kind of go over all that in just a second, but a very beautiful palette. In fact, let's just quickly go over the details. So so this is the new holiday collection by Hourglass. So this is the Ambient Lighting Edit Universe Face Palette. This is the Universe Unlocked. So again, it's for the light, medium, tan skin tones. So this again is $80. The total weight size of this palette, I mean like all the powders combined, is 0.30 ounces, 9.6 grams. So if you're looking at the total weight size and you divide that by 80, you're looking at about $8.33 per gram. Yes, it is quite expensive, you guys. It is hourglass and they put out such amazing, amazing quality and amazing packaging. So I do feel like it's slightly justified because you're paying for luxury, cruelty-free makeup, clean makeup. This palette contains, again, the Ambient Light Powder, which is a Radiant Light Golden Beige. Then you get four of the little quads, and that is the Ambient Lighting Blush in Rose Heat, and that is a brand new shade that's a deep berry. It looks absolutely stunning from the swatch. Ambient Lighting Blush in Coral Flush. I was so excited to try that out, and that is a bright peony and again that is brand new as well and then you have uh, original which is ambient lighting bronzer and I already own this one this is the darkest of the bronzers that they have in individuals and that's radiant bronze light which is a warm bronze and then a brand new ambient metallic strobe lighting power powder 
And then you have a brand new ambient metallic strobe lighting powder, and that one's called Solar Strobe Light. It's a metallic champagne. I am a huge fan of their metallic highlighters, which sold me on this palette alone because the other one didn't have a metallic one. They are so blinding in such an airbrush beautiful way. So I am very excited to try that out on my skin. I've only swatched these. I have not put this on my face yet. So we are gonna do it with my scattered light shadows. We're gonna create an eyeshadow look as well in this video. And I own a lot of them like Ray and a few of the other ones. I don't know if I love them as much, those other colors, but I tried this out in store. This is smoke and it's more of like a smoky taupe and it is so beautiful. I'll show the swatches that I did on my arm of Smoke and Vivid because I just love those the most. But today we're just gonna go with Smoke and then we're gonna use the Persona one today because I'm gonna mix it within this palette. But I might use some of these tones in there. So I'm gonna take this BK Beauty 103 brush. I really like this one for really kind of setting and it's nice. It's got this nice combination of firm and soft to really kind of diffuse out. And I think it'll be a good one and a good size to put into this. And I kind of like more synthetic brushes when it comes to hourglass powders more than the natural hair brushes because they're already so finely milled that I just feel like synthetics just grab better with hourglass powders. And hourglass puts out amazing brushes as well. So I'm gonna dip that in there and this is clean. And we're just gonna kind of run this along here. Ooh, ooh, that's nice. That is nice, I like it. So I'm just doing it around the perimeters because again, I think this is not a tone that I would like personally. I think this is a good one to bring down the neck too um, that I would like. So I already have this powder on. So it's already kind of set my makeup. And I, again, I didn't really need a lot of powder on my face, but yeah, this is a really beautiful powder. It is just so air light that you just really can build this and it really, you can't go wrong. And I don't see any type of luminosity to the point where it emphasizes texture. If anything, it's just blurring things for me rather than, uh, rather than emphasizing, which is nice. So very pretty. It really does work for my skin tone. All right, I was excited. I wasn't sure. I thought maybe it might be too dark, but it's not. It's really, really pretty. All right, now let's go in with Radiant Bronze Light. I didn't contour or anything, because I really want you guys to see what it looks like. But we'll just try it, just kind of do a more detailed contour, but I can already tell you guys this is more of a warm shade. So I personally don't, I like to contour something a little bit deeper. And as you can see, it doesn't really show up a lot, but it is very pretty and soft. So, and if you have lighter skin tone than me, it really does show up a lot more. So let's take this Dose of Colors angled brush and let's just see, this is a little bit denser. So I'm just kind of curious. Yeah, so that's gonna put even more. So the more dense of a brush you use, the more pigment you're gonna get. So I definitely got more pigment from that for the contour look if I wanted to do more of an angled contour look. Now this one I like because it's this BK Beauty 107 is nice because it's going to go, it's going to give me, it's going to cover more territory and faster if you're just going for a bronzed look. This is not my favorite bronzer to be quite honest. I love, again, I love the formula. I just want something just a little bit deeper and more, a little bit more neutral. And that would make me really happy. So Hourglass, let's collaborate. Let's do something. You can also use like, I do love this Hourglass brush number two, but we're gonna use that for the blush. But it's pretty, it's not my favorite. Again, it doesn't really pop that much, but it's pretty. Let's take my eyeshadow brush and let's do, let's use this bronzer as, okay, so I wanted to point out really fast, with these Hourglass Scattered Lights or any type of cream eyeshadow product, whatever product you're using, you really want to do it more on either bare skin or like uh, an oil-free eyeshadow primer base. Some good ones are like the Smashbox 24 Hour one, I don't use them too often, so I don't have one on hand. A lot of mine are oil-based, because I t 
tend to just use more powdered ones, but when I use these cream products, I find the most longevity I get out of this product, like to really make sure it doesn't crease and it stays on all night long, which it can, it's to really go in without any type of oil base. So if you're using concealer as your base, do not put it on the areas that you wanna use any type of cream eyeshadow. It doesn't matter which cream product you're using, whatever brand you're using, that is the best way to get no creasing and longevity. So just remember, especially on mature eyes, you really wanna be careful. So what I do is when I'm doing my uh, eyebrows is, and I do the carve out, so I tend to use the NARS is what I use, Maroon Glacé. And what I do is like, I'll take this Kat Von D like angled flat brush and I'll just make sure to really just stay where I'm going to do the powdered products because in those products, I do want that base there. And a little bit of a product like this where it does have a tiny bit of oil in there to really soften that area out. And then it's really important before you do the powders to take any kind of setting powder, whether it's your hourglass powder, you can even take the one in the palette. I like my NARS one and just really set around that area, just the area I know I'm gonna use powders, okay? So that's really important, but I'm keeping all of this pretty clean. So what I did was I took a Q-tip and you know I, I use this Velour uh, brand lash cleaner and it just like stick my q-tip in there like that get it nice and damp and then make sure it's not like running down your q-tip because you don't want it to mess up your other part of your makeup and just really go in there and clean off any kind of makeup you have on there and then what you can do is take if you don't have an eyeshadow base you can take any type of like gripping primer it doesn't matter, just make sure it's oil free. It has to be some type of oil free. But the good part about the grip is you're gonna get some grip there so that the eyeshadow is going to have something to hold on to. So I'm just gonna prep that. So it's gonna look a little crazy right now. It's gonna look really crazy right now, but trust the process because let me tell you, that is the best way to work with cream products. All right, now I'm gonna take this, uh, actually let's do this BK Beauty uh, 202 brush. It's like a perfect size to really get in there. And we're gonna start doing that contour and we're gonna do it with the Radiant Light Bronzer. Ooh, this is a really nice one because it's magnetic and it just feels sturdy, but yet it's small enough to travel with, so I appreciate that. So we're just gonna take that and we're just gonna take that along there. So it's so, again, this is not really showing up too much. You guys notice that? It's just not really showing up that much on my skin. So that's why I took out the Persona Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. And we're gonna go into, since it's, we're using taupe colors, this is a perfect neutral, almost cool tone palette, but yet has a little bit of warmth in there. And I love that in this palette. This beat out the Natasha Denona one to me, in my opinion, and <laughs> a lot less. So now we're gonna take the Radiant Light because it's really not that visible, you know, you can see it a little bit, but we're just gonna kind of diffuse out the edges. Ooh, actually that is, that's beautiful. Oh, okay, you guys, I found my way of liking this product. Oh, okay, wow, do you guys see that? That just blended out everything. Oh, that's actually really nice, I like that. Okay, see, look at that. Look at that, just one and two shadows, that's all I used. All right, now we're gonna take this uh, Scattered Lights in Smoke, and I like to use a brush first, and then I take my finger and in the very, very center work with it. So we're just gonna take this Dose of Colors Concealer Brush, and we're just gonna dip into this. So this one, it gets a little, pow a little powdery on the top section, but it's so nice, you guys. This is a weightless micro glitter eyeshadow infused with light reflecting pearls to create high impact and sparkling eyes. It features a multifaceted pearls that capture and reflect light, giving the eyes a multi-dimensional look. The shades are buildable and have a weightless formula that glides across the lids and dries down for a smooth, comfortable wear. This is $29. It comes in a good variety of shades. 
You guys, do you notice that I'm not getting any fallout? And it's because I'm using that gripping primer and I don't have like a dry lid or a slippery lid that allows the product to fall all over the place. So just keep that in mind. And remember by always laying down a cream product underneath, even if you're using some type of shimmer on top, it really is the best way to get the best impact and longevity. That's really important. So I love this one. This goes on a lot like Vivid. This is the only one I think I didn't own. I love the Vivid because it's so impactful. Oh my gosh, it's stunning, you guys. I love it. And this texture, I mean, there's really just nothing better than these scattered light shadows. Wow. I'm gonna take the Sigma Switcher I don't talk about this a lot, but I use this quite a bit and I like it because you can just switch off the colors really easily and you don't have to uh, wash it, which is nice if you're like me that doesn't like to wash your brushes. All right, let's go in with that color. So pretty. And then we're just gonna put this one kind of like right here, just really tight in there. Do you guys see how easy these shadows are? They're so easy to work with, same color. And just kind of build it up slowly. All right, let's take that BK Beauty 202 brush I was using to begin with. And again, going back into Charming and just blurring out the edges. I don't wanna do anything too intense, just something soft, but still glamorous. I love using this Wayne Goss brush to really blow out that lower lash line. You can take any type of bronzer that you're using or contour. I'm gonna take that one right there and I'm just gonna blow that out and bring that up and it's like lifting up the eye by doing that. And it just really blows out that edge right there. So it makes it really easy to kind of clean up and it kind of lifts and gives you a little bit of face lift. It's just a little trick. Any kind of dome type fluffy brush like that will work. I really like the Anastasia one for that, but it's so pretty, right? It just really blows it out. I'm just gonna deepen out that lash line. Do you see how pigmented these colors are? And so easy to blend, you guys. It's crazy how good this palette is. I'm gonna take this BK Beauty, now that my hands are all dirty, uh, 208, I wanna say, just a fine eyeliner brush. Going back into that color to really find out those edges right here. So pretty, right? So this is how the look came together with my false lashes on. I put my Amy June 3D Eve Silk. I will leave everything again in the comments that I used. And I just really wanted to show you how beautiful this Persona palette performed with this Hourglass uh, smoke. Uh, so, so, so pretty, you guys. I did end up using uh, this shade right here, Bombshell, which is one of my favorite shades in this palette. Very beautiful. All of the shadows performed really beautiful. So we're done with that. Now we're going to uh, use a blush brush. And I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with the darker one on the higher points of my cheekbones, just so you can see how both perform this darker one right here and then we'll use like the coral one for more on the apples of the cheek i don't really go necessarily on the apples but more just like around that area so to do that one i'm going to use this hour uh, hourglass brush but now for the darker part and just to kind of use higher up i'm going to use this it cosmetics one it's uh, uh very clean so just kind of stained but this is such a beautiful magenta color. Oh my gosh, do you guys see how pigmented that is? So what I'm gonna do is just kind of take the towel I was using and just kind of dust that off a little so it doesn't go in the back of my hand. And I'm just gonna place that right there. Oh my gosh, you guys. Do you see how smoothing these powders are? I have so much texture on my skin. So for it to do that is so nice to just easily go over my texture. And do you see how intense that is? I mean, that is super, and you can pull your blush up right there as well. And I'm gonna diffuse some of that out in just a second. I just want you guys to see the pigmentation you get from that blush. It is so incredible. I'm going super light handed, you guys. It is beautiful. Now I'm gonna take my Stands Out Beauty sponge that I was using and just, it already has powder on there. I'm just gonna kind of go around it and just kind of diffuse out the edges a little bit. But how beautiful is that? 
Now I'm going to take my Chica Hoto powder brush and I'm just going to kind of slightly go over that just to kind of smooth it all out before I go in with the other color. All right, beautiful. Oh my gosh, that is a beautiful fuchsia color for fall. I have this like this um, from Vicky Collections, this little wrap sweater. It's so cute. I love this sweater in the winter uh, and it's so soft. I'll put the link below. Uh, that is so pretty with these burgundies. Okay, now I'm gonna take this coral one onto this hourglass number two brush. And I'm just gonna place that one there. So pigmented, okay? Very pigmented. And this is just, I'm going super light handed. I kind of dusted too much off of there because I was a little afraid. I'm just gonna kind of, oh my gosh, you guys, do you see how pretty that is? Uh, both of these colors are absolutely stunning. I think this one's gonna be really beautiful in the summer, just alone. And they're talc free, which I absolutely love. And just so airbrushed looking. I mean, it just, it's airbrushed looking. This is the kind of pigmentation I wanted from their blushes in the past that I didn't get. So not really as, if I'm being quite honest, as big of a fan of this powder right here. It almost is emphasizing, not emphasizing, but just kind of making my texture stands out, stand out a little bit. So I think sticking to the perimeters of my face, I would like, or for like a natural glow, like let's just say I want to run into the grocery store and I don't want to put a full on highlighter. I think that's really beautiful to use. So I'm just gonna keep building this up. I'm going really slow because it is super pigmented and I just don't want it to be too overwhelming. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose. I'm gonna mix the two of them together. I'm gonna just kind of dust that off a little. Don't go directly to your nose without dusting off because you don't want it to look like a clown and be too, too crazy looking. But, oh, so pretty. And actually combined together, it is actually like mixing the two like that. So pretty, just to kind of tie the two together is another good way to do that. Oh my gosh, you guys, that is such a beautiful color. Now let's take uh, this Wayne Goss number 16 brush and let's take this deeper one. And you guys know I like to do this to really kind of tie in the look, give it like that monochromatic look as I'm taking that pink and just kind of mixing that into the shadow and it kind of just burgundied up my eyeshadow look a little, which I like burgundied up. I don't know if that's really a word, but hey, I created it. <laughs> I'm gonna take this Scott Barnes brush and go back into the bronzer color and, or not Scott Barnes, I'm sorry, Makeup by Mario and just kind of deepen that out again because I think I put a little too much in there, but still pretty actually still kind of gave it like kind of a burgundy look. It switched up the look a little, more than I intended to do. <laughs> All right, now let's try this highlighter. So it's probably gonna be even more exciting for me. So I'm gonna take my Wayne Goss airbrush. You guys know I always use this. This is like my holy grail brush. I have like three of these. I love these so much. And it was sold out forever. And guess what? It's back in stock now, you guys. So very excited that you guys can get your hands on it if you haven't already. It's such a beautiful brush. I love it for under eye setting. I love it for highlights. So this highlight, because it's darker, to me it's not as intense. So I don't know. I like the metallic highlighters from Hourglass a lot, but not that color so much. <laughs> Let me show you guys the difference here. So this is, my metallic strobe highlighting palette and even the one from last year i liked better in the um in the last holiday palette but i like these colors a lot more these yellow tones and pink, pink tones let me just show you guys the difference do you see that like oh my gosh i forgot how beautiful this is i haven't used this in a while but this is like one of the most beautiful highlighters because if you have texture, again, this does not emphasize it. If you have a deeper skin tone than I do, then this is going to be beautiful. And it'll be beautiful for like a natural look, but for this kind of glam look, I would want more intensity. It's just, just who I am too, I just like intensity. All right, I'm going to spray this, but first I wanna make sure, I'm gonna take this microfiber sponge that I was using and just kind of press this in, just to make sure we don't have any lines. Now I'm going to spray 
my skin is starting to pill a little because it's just so dry from the trentinone but so pretty though you guys right like i think it is a gorgeous gorgeous powder palette so let's go over the rankings of this i like last year's packaging better but i'm just more of that classic simple gold it just was prettier to me i'll show again the differences between last year's and this year's packaging i like that it's interesting and it's different and they're doing something different from last year so i understand that i mean i like marble don't get me wrong but i don't know this color tone is just not it's just not doing it for me. I like that it's lightweight. It's not too heavy when you're traveling and it's small enough, which is nice. I do like the closure of the magnetic. So I'm gonna give this packaging four out of five stars. It does hold the product really well. One thing I wish they would do that I think is missing that they can do next year is make these uh, refillable. like So that you can interchange. So these are like the same size as last year's. I wish I can pop that out and put last year's metallic into this one because I like those color tones better. So I kind of wish they would just do that, like Natasha Denona's shadows, or you can just interchange things. I don't know, just an idea. As far as shade range goes, I think, again, like I just wish it was a deeper color bronzer since it's a deeper palette. If you're gonna go with the deeper highlighter, this bronzer should have been a deeper tone. That should have been a brand new bronzer. So I was a little disappointed in that, you guys. This was too dark still. I almost wish they would have done dim light in there or something like that. I think dim light would have been a better, better than the radiant light in my opinion. And that metallic highlighter is just too dark. Like I personally would not use that. So I don't, unless I was going for a super natural look. Again, that's the only way I'd probably use that. So I don't know, a little disappointed in that. So shade range four out of five. I do love those blushes. It is a beautiful bronzer if you like subtle bronzers and more warm bronzers. And if you have lighter skin, that's really gonna pop on you. I do think Hourglass puts out the most phenomenal, phenomenal products. So I'm gonna give it five out of five stars for product claims. And that goes for application too, because they go on so effortlessly, so beautifully. If you have dry skin, you, they're powders that are wearable, especially if you have extremely dry skin, because that's what I have right now. They're wearable. They still look beautiful. They never look cakey. So application is a solid five out of five stars. They really are an Instagram filter in a palette. It's incredible. Like just in general, if you were to invest in one powder, find the color you like, and you're really going to like these powders. I almost wish they would just since we like like those are gorgeous blushes make those individuals and make it accessible at all times i wish they would do that instead of just doing them into the limited edition palette where it forces you to buy all of those colors almost like if they would just break it up a little bit more where it makes it more affordable too for the average person as far as price range again 80 dollars is so steep yes like i said in the beginning i will pay for hourglass powders because they're that good but I still wish the price point was lower. So I'm gonna give it, especially for the holiday palette. So I'm gonna give it four out of five stars as well. So we're looking at 22 out of 25 stars. 88% of me would recommend this palette. All right, you guys, those are my final thoughts. I wanted to try that out. I wanted to kind of give you an eyeshadow look using the Persona eyeshadow palette with these scattered lights because I don't think I did the eyeshadow look on camera last year. So I thought it'd be fun to do that. Thank you so much for all the love and support. And if you're new here, I would really love for you to join our beautiful Glam Fam and hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you can get notified. We're here every Sunday at 8 a.m time and I'd really love again for you guys to join our family please comment below and say hello and please give this video a huge thumbs up it really does help my videos out and please utilize all the links if you decide to purchase any of these products everything I have on my face will be in the description box below thank you again follow me at Christy Allure on Instagram because you know you don't want to miss those giveaways and on TikTok Christy Allure and on my blog Christy Allure where all the swatches ingredients and products information will now be. So go ahead and check out my blog, christyallure.com. I love you guys so much and I will see you next Sunday. Bye.